Chapter 83, Disconcertment. Riel closed her eyes and turned her back against Sarah. Tears of sympathy were streaming down her face, and Hyunaki wrapped Riel in his arms, sensing her heavy emotion. Riel stopped walking. Hearing Sarah's plead of mercy, she embraced Hyunaki, weeping, feeling helpless. Sarah has to face the consequences of her actions. Realer's emotions were so much to bear, that she felt pain in her womb and fainted. Hyunaki scooped her in his arms quickly, and had to rush her to the hospital. Realer Sobi gynecologist, Dr. Korea, hurriedly met her in the emergency room. She examined Riel, and the nurses took her vitals while she was lying unconscious. Hyunaki was bothered and restless, and he continued to flinch and pace the floor, praying that Riel would be safe. Dr. Korea found Hyunaki sitting by an empty bed near Riel, so she approached him. Hey, Mr. Han. You're unbelievable, exclaimed Dr. Korea. Hyunaki was startled and asked, Why is that, doctor? You were known to be a very wealthy businessman, yet you're making your wife work. Should she spend her time comfortably for herself, enjoying your wealth, caring about her pregnancy, and yet, look at her, she was working her worth. For what Dr. Korea showed her outright disappointment over Hyunki. He pursed his lips, felt slighted by what Dr. Korea just said, and replied, Look, Dr. Korea, what kind of a husband, who is the wealthiest in the land, would want to see his wife working so hard, but my wife, was at her happiest when she had a good time in her work, socializing with her office mates and clients, unmindful of the good life I could give her, as long as she is happy and satisfied with what she does, must I stand her way to stop her?" Dr. Korea gave a croaky sound and apologized. Mm hmm I'm sorry for underestimating you, Mr. Han, but Mrs. Riel needed rest. Her conception was risky, too much stress and fatigue would hurt her pregnancy. Why not tell her to slow down for the baby inside her? Hyun Ki furrowed his brows and replied, I am leaving that to you, doctor. If you could advise her not to work anymore, I would feel relieved from worries. My wife was stubborn, and I could not understand where her stamina and energy were coming from. Still, if you could advise her to stop, Riel was regaining consciousness when she heard their conversation, and she said, No, I am not stopping. It would only make my life boring. I promise I'll take care of myself, and our baby. Please, do not intervene with my activities, and I will only feel lonely and useless high and Kimede. Now you know gesture, and said, See? That's my wife. Anyway, sweetheart, no one's forcing you to stop, but see to it that, you rest when you feel weary. The doctor and I were only concerned about your well-being because you're conceiving now, Dr. Korea added, if you don't feel like working, your manager would understand. Give rest your priority, and whatever cravings you had, go with it. Okay, you have to take the pills for your morning sickness so it wouldn't hinder your well-being. At this point, I advise you to rest for a week, because you had a spotting due to the tension you incurred. Then you can go back to your normal activities. Take care of the baby, you hear, Dr. Korea forewarned. Riel answered, Sure, doctor. I will take care of our baby. I am so excited about what the baby will look like, and holding her belly, she said, I need positive energy for my baby. Then she turned to Hyunaki, and as she was about to speak, Riel vomited. The doctor gave her a nemesis basin to collect her vomit, which was yellow, foamy, and thick. Hyunaki looked at it, as nasty and disgusting, while Riel felt queasy and carsick. Hyun's look didn't escape Realer's side of him. She pursed her lips and then yelled irritably, I want to go home. Doctor, please bring me home, Hyun. At least Noemi was there to help me out, unlike you, who are getting disgusted and feeling yucky. Bring me home, please, Riel snapped, making Hyun Ki flinch and muddle. Dr. Korea made muffled laughter when she saw Hyun Ki's reaction and said, Be patient, Mr. Han. A conceiving mother had her highs and lows, sometimes becoming temperamental and difficult to understand. Just go with the flow. Be understanding and accommodating. Giving in to her whims and cravings will let you be fine. She must not be stressed or given worries, which would be unhealthy. You will be a good father soon. Good luck! During Realer's rest days, Riel became picky about the food she wanted to eat, craving things that upset Hyun Ki and sometimes annoyed him. He was inside his car sharing with Juni about how he felt. Why does Riel make things hard for me? Huh. She asked me to buy this and that. Still, when it was already there, she looked at it changed her mind matter-of-factly, and asked for another thing. I am still determining where I would find the fruit she would want to eat. When it was not even in season yet, 
my secretaries were distracted in their routine, just to scour over the internet the food and fruits Riel wanted to eat. It is exasperating, Junie, how many more reelers are here to make fathers to be distracted and weary? I could not even focus on my work, Junie was grinning and said, Sir Hyun, I would like to share what my two brothers-in-law had experienced during my two sisters' pregnancy days. It was true, sir. That my sisters were having whims and cravings, that a man would think of as crazy and beyond one's imagination. Still, they realized that these only made them understand what their wives were going through, they became so loving and affectionate to their wives. They became caring dads to their kids. Hyun Ki thought about what Juni had told him, and remained quiet until they reached home. As soon as Hyun Ki got home, he saw Riel in tears. Sweetheart, why are you crying? What have I done this time? Hyun Ki was weary, and his temper was about to give in when Riel snapped at him. Why now only? I've been waiting for you so we can have dinner together. Who are you with? Ha instead of soothing his wife with comforting words, Hyun Ki snapped back at her. Come on, Riel. I'm so tired. I want to sleep. He went to their bedroom and lay down without changing into fresh clothes. Riel got annoyed and followed him, expressing her irritation at Hyun Ki. What are you doing? I've been waiting for you. Only to sleep on me. Riel pulled his pillow underneath his head. That infuriated him. Are you not going to give me peace? Only for a moment. Huh? I am so tired. And I hate hearing your naggings. Go away. Hyun Ki snarled, making Riel freeze. Realizing she must have annoyed Hyun Ki to the point of growling at her, Riel mellowed down, and sat on the couch facing their bed, giving a muffled sob. She watched as her husband was lying fast asleep, snoring. She walked out of the room and looked at the clock. It was 11 in the evening, and she felt hungry. Nomi was standing by, waiting for Riel's instruction. Why are you still awake? Nomi, Riel asked. You have not taken anything yet. Ma'am you must eat, or your baby will bother you in your sleep. Riel sniffled, and she asked for a fruit instead. I don't feel like eating. You can sleep now, and I can manage, Riel said in a weak tone. Nomi gave a courteous nod and left, commiserating with Riel's feelings. Riel returned to their bedroom, peeked at Hyun Ki, and stared at his handsome face for a long time, tracing his eyes, nose, and lips with her eyes. Then she smiled. Having satisfied herself staring at her husband, she walked to her side of the bed and lay down. She was slowly lying in bed when she felt dizzy, followed by muffled vomiting. She was trying to be careful not to disturb Hyun Ki. Still, nevertheless, she threw up, and the sound didn't escape Hyun Ki's hearing. Instead of patting Reeler's back to soothe her, he got irritated and turned his back, covering his head with the pillow. Seeing her husband's irritant move, she stood, carried her cushion, and moved to the next bedroom, bringing with her the emesis basin. Riel felt solo and glum, feeling all alone. She was near to entertaining self-pity. She heaved heavily, her hand on her chest, feeling so heartbroken, recalling Hyun Ki's behavior towards her, carrying the resentment he caused her that night. All Riel could feel was the heaviness of her heart, and felt goosebumps on her head, seeming to expand and tingle. She had no one to comfort her. She was alone and couldn't contain her emotions, so she sobbed quietly covering her mouth so no one would hear her cries of torment. Then she remembered her mom, who was always there to comfort her, but now, she thought she was all alone. The more she cried, the more her eyes became heavy until she fell asleep. Reeler's pregnancy seemed to bring her more sorrow and disappointment than joy. Could their married life last long? 